Most Kenyans use public transport to get around. That's why some bus service providers are taking no chances. This is one of the busiest bus stations in Nairobi city centre. We've got uh, gloves, though, as that now they are not uh, enough for each and everyone. And we've got the hand sanitizers. Yeah, those are the measures we've uh, adopted uh, alongside uh, uh, asking our conductors uh, to make sure our vehicles are ventilated. That is opening the bus doors and windows. On Sunday, the government put in place new restrictions after two more cases of coronavirus were confirmed, bringing the total to three. President Uhuru Kenyatta addressed the nation, announcing the indefinite closure of schools and universities, along with the barring of all visitors from coronavirus-affected nations and asking Kenyans to avoid using cash, among other measures. Government offices, businesses and companies are encouraged to allow employees to work from home. Many Kenyans in the city rely on casual labor for their daily income and do not have adequate medical insurance. They woke up to these headlines and are afraid things could get worse. People are bracing themselves for a potential total lockdown if the disease continues to spread. Government officials say we are not there yet, but some Kenyans we spoke to here are concerned about how they'll feed their families if they're told to stay home. Dalton Machoka sells treats to passengers and says he cannot afford to stay home, even for one day. If they tell us to stay at home, say for 30 days, what will we eat? Will we sleep hungry? My family needs to be fed. The landlord needs to be paid. Health officials are telling Kenyans not to panic, maintain good hygiene, and follow the guidelines being given. They say the government isolation facilities are working and the country is prepared for the worst. These nurses at one of the government hospitals are, however, skeptical. They say they don't have proper protective care and any way of ensuring their own families stay safe. Theirs is just one of the many problems the government faces as it tries to prevent its small outbreak from getting out of control. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Nairobi, Kenya.